Hi, today I have two very easy questions for you. This is a very beginning level of genetics and I hope you would be able to solve these problems uh, correctly on your own. So I encourage you to stop video here, uh, read the questions and choose your answer and then you can run video again and you can uh, compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. An individual who is heterozygous for two genes is represented and here is the four answers that you might choose from. And if you're still hesitating which answer to choose, here is my explanation. So when we have um, one gene represented with two alleles, that is uh, one dominant, another one recessive, we may uh, notate this as capital A and small a. So a capital A stands for the dominant allele and small a stands for the recessive allele. And these two alleles may produce three uh, forms that would be one uh, homozygous dominant, another one would be homozygous recessive, and uh, the third one would be heterozygous when one allele uh, would be uh, dominant and another one would be recessive. And here we uh, have, for example, uh, answer A, we have uh, one gene and the second gene. Uh, as you see, they both uh, uh, represented with different letters. And here, as you see, would be heterozygous and this one would be homozygous. Letters are different, but uh, what we are looking for is that two letters should be uh, of the same uh, size. So uh, let's. So uh, it doesn't meet our requirements. So we are looking for the individual who is heterozygous for two genes. And let's uh, check answer D. Here we would see uh, one gene that is. Uh, represented by two alleles and we have uh, also homozygous dominant here so we have to cross out this answer as long as answer A and answer C we have once again homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive for the second gene so we have to cross out this answer and what we left is answer B where we have the first gene A um, represented by two alleles, one is uh, dominant, another one recessive, so this is, would be heterozygous, and second gene also would be heterozygous, so this is our answer. And uh, next question, how many genetically different kinds of gametes will an individual with genotype capital A, capital A, small b, small b produce? And in order to answer this question, let me draw this um, genotype. So this is going to be capital A, capital A, small b, small b. And it's very easy, you just have to use the rule. We have to cross each of these uh, alleles A with each allele B. And we have only to uh, leave those uh, genotypes that would be unique. For example, here, if we uh, use this rule and uh, we would add capital A with uh, small b, we would get genotype capital A small b. And if we add capital A to small b here, we would get the same genotype capital A small b and the same would be here. So only one genotype is possible here, that is um, AB, and uh, gametes always uh, haploid, so if we have here a uh, diploid organism, each gene represented with two alleles, in gametes we would have only uh, half the number of the uh, diploid number, so we would have only this allele or this one and this allele uh, is the same like uh, the second one as long as uh, small b 
is the same uh, here. So this is only one variant that is possible. So our answer would be A. And I also want to show you different variants that is uh, possible if uh, we would have different genotypes. And there is uh, also possible genotypes, for example, capital A and capital A, capital B and small b. In this case, we would have uh, one variant, capital A, capital B, capital A, small b, and capital A, capital B we already have, and capital A, small b we also have. So in this case, when we have homozygous uh, condition for one gene and heterozygous condition for the second gene, we would have two uh, possible variants for the gametes. So here would be one and here would be two. And uh, the most number of the gametes, different gametes we may get when we have both uh, genes in the heterozygous form. For example, capital A, small a, and capital B, small b. So here we would have capital A, capital B, capital A, small b, small a, capital B, and small a, small b. So here we would have four different variants. So once again, when we have two genes that is both uh, homozygous, we would have only one variant for the gametes of the genotype. This is our answer. When we have one gene in the homozygous form, another one in, in the heterozygous form, we would have two types of the gametes. And uh, when we have both uh, uh, genes uh, present in the uh, heterozygous form, we would have four different variants of the gametes. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new video that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.